What is this? A stairway for ants? Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Masters of the Universe He-Man Origins video. I know, it's it's definitely been a while, I do have a pile of Origins figures that I've been uh, gradually accumulating, but then Mattel went ahead and sent this over. So we have an early look at Point Dread and the Talon Fighter. One of the newer sets that was just most recently unveiled, right? A couple weeks ago they did a whole thing where they're like here's 50,000 new figures and accessories but the box is awesome it's like a giant elongated shoe box gorgeous artwork rugged outpost talent fighter battle station high atop the castle you got all that cool artwork it looks amazing and just the fact that they have a lot of fun putting all these little easter eggs in here like the flying pterodactyl monster thing totally make that that would be awesome. I would totally buy that. Just saying, on the back side of the box, again, all the amazing He-Man Origins artwork, and it kind of tells you about the Talon Fighter, which I didn't really know about, but it's something that travels through time and space, and then the Sorcerers merged it to Castle Grayskull, hence why Castle Grayskull can attach to this thing. Now, you can use the bottom half of the Green Rocky Mountains as an outpost, or a little hangout area for Zodak, whatever you want to do. And yes, as you can see, you got this big bird vehicle, and you got parts of Castle Grayskull, which I'm totally stoked on. You get to see all these other characters. I have one of these <laughs> thus far. More on the way, I'm sure, from where I pre-ordered. And here is the barcode. Now, I'm going to say this will probably be out in and around summertime, but you might start seeing it earlier right we'll have to wait and see but in either case here's the barcode for it so this is going to be an absolute blast sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is an early look at the brand new the masters of the universe he-man origins point dread and the talon fighter by mattel And while I got all you Universe Masters here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my He-Man videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, just before we get started, you open up this shoe box. It's got a little flap, and there are just parts thrown in there. Some of them are wrapped in a little uh, wrapping paper kind of deal. But uh, once you have everything else... There are quite a few pieces. We'll just kind of slowly go through them. You want to make sure you have them all or else you're going to have one funny looking point dread and hawk mobile or whatever this thing is. But I really like how everything is very much a toy. It looks cool, but it still keeps in line with the Masters of the Universe. It's just awesome. Flat, color, plastic, Always fun, and with the Origins line, yeah, it's uh, it's really no change at all. Keep in mind, it does come with an instruction booklet. You open it up, and just in case, maybe some years from now, somebody loses their instruction booklet, well, here you go. I'm thinking ahead. So you get to see how everything works. Everything is put together. You can kind of swap pieces to create other dioramas, a whole bunch of customizability with this. And then, of course, on the back, you get to see how this whole bird shenanigan thing can fit on top of your Castle Grayskull, which is sold separately, which I just want to make sure you understand because it tells you at the bottom of the instruction booklet. So I just want to point that out. There's no giant Castle Grayskull in this box. So you got everything, all the pieces, boom, there you go. Everything is lined up. Now, first and foremost, you get this gun turret. You can put this on the base of the green rocks or you can put it on top of your Talon Fighter. It's simple plastic along with red simple plastic for the wings. Now, admittedly, some of these can get kind of play schoolish, you know what I'm talking about, especially with this Millennium Falcon satellite dish. Uh, and then you have the handle, which I particularly like. More on that in just a few. You have the perching post, right? It's just all brown. You got the chicken legs, which are <laughs> all kinds of fun, right? I don't know. This is wackadoo mass universe is insane right but you see how that all fits in so you get the top part of this new castle piece which is very cool it has some little teeny tiny stairs and then you have the bottom half which as you can see inside it's got little amenities like you got an axe for fire hose 
elephant guy. And then you have like a mini fridge, which is totally awesome, right? I'm sure all the He-Man peoples are getting into there. And then a bunch of other wackadoo stuff. Mine has a huge chunk of black paint right there. And then you see the front, which totally matches up to Castle Grayskull. And on the bottom, you get little craggy rock elements. So it totally works. Now you have this giant vehicle. This is what's going to take up most of the box. And for the most part, it's done nicely. It's very simplistic, but to me, that's really where the fun of this He-Man line is. Inside, they've all taken care of the stickers for you. Thank God. Thanks for doing that. Some of them you kind of have to smooth out, at least on mine. But for the most part, they're all applied well. Certainly a lot better than I probably would have done. It's a two-seater flying bird car. Just keep that in mind. It's actually got some heft to it. The backside has stickers, which are jet propulsion and time and space warp drive and whatever else. I like the little clear plastic you can see through it. It's very nicely done. For as simple as it is, it's totally fine. The canopy closes, canopy opens. Seriously, though, how many vehicles have we looked at in the last few weeks, right? It's going crazy. It's kind of like one of those birds on camera, right? So you have all the pieces and we'll kind of speed this up, but we'll go ahead and take the wings. It says that it's a one-time applied kind of deal. Oftentimes, it's kind of heated up the plastic on He-Man items to kind of remove stuff if I want to put it away or whatnot. Never really had any problems, but just to keep that in mind, sometimes once they're in, they're in. You get the idea. So there's everything put together. It's pretty easy peasy, self-explanatory. These are the optional pieces. You can either do the gun turrets, you can do the Millennium Falcon satellite dish. We'll go ahead and kick it off with this blue piece right here just to kind of see. For the most part, it is okay. It's just kind of like, yeah, I guess that kind of works. I'm going to be honest, I kind of prefer the gun turrets over the little satellite dish. But again, swap them out at your leisure. But in either case, however you do it, it totally works for what it is. Now, in perching this giant bird mobile you go ahead and you take that off and you put this perching post on then you see the holes in the feet and then that just lines up perfectly and of course bingo bango you got yourself one good looking perched bird mobile <laughs> for lack of a better i don't even know what i'm looking at what the heck is this thing who cares right it's he-man it's master's universe Nothing makes sense in this world, and here is just another thing that is completely bat poop crazy, and I absolutely love it. You got guns, and you got jet propulsion, it travels through time and space, you got a little mini apartment underneath, it is awesome. Now, for the sake of just showing this off properly, we're going to get Rowdy Roddy Piper and He-Man to take us on our journey, and yeah, you can comfortably fit two he-man origins figures in there just fyi i was shocked i put he-man in there i go oh wait no you could totally put two that's awesome i totally love that you close the canopy and you have that no problem doing that and it just looks stylish it looks slick and yes from now on rowdy roddy piper will be in charge of flying the talon fire <laughs> Just an FYI, as the instruction booklet said, if you have some of the other vehicles and their perches, yes, you can totally use it with the Talon Fighter. So I like how they really incorporated the entirety of the He-Man line, and it is light enough to where you can utilize how if you want to articulate it up, down, left, right, you get the idea. That's really nice. That's a nice touch right there, Mattel. Very well done. And then likewise, you can take the back handle off you can have it just on its feet. It's up to you. You can do what you want. You can display how you want. And that's how I likes it. Now, I will tell you this. One of my favorite aspects is having the handle on the back. I would have preferred something where it had like a trigger and you could fire out little eagle discs or bird discs or whatever. I think a rocket firing mechanism would have been cool. But you can also zoom it around your office and have fun. And I don't know why it's so ridiculously dumb. But it's fun. It, it, this is like harkening back to when you're a kid and you're doing all kinds of noises and everything else and you're zooming it around the office. And uh, yeah, just don't let anybody know this, okay? Just kind of keep it to yourself. With Castle Grayskull, though, this is my favorite parts. If you have the castle that came out about two years ago now, and you're going to have to remove the little flag piece, of course, because this is right where the top half of the whole perch system 
is going to go. So you take your little castle looking dealy right there and it's simply just going to clip on to the edge. It's very simplistic and it's actually pretty much locked down once you get it in there. You can pull it off at your leisure of course. But once it's on there, I mean, you can pick up the castle with it if you really wanted to. And I like that. There's no problems. You're not worried it's going to fall over. Nothing like that. So let me just set this scenario for you. You have Mr. T on the gun turrets, of course, right? As one would. You have the Bumblebee Man just hanging out at the front door of Castle Grayskull. Then a big robotic horse pulls up. And, of course, She-Ra is is driving it who else would be the horse has all these guns and things and whatnot then you have zorn who's flying the wind raider and it, do you see how freaking crazy masters of the universe is i freaking love it at the very top of castle grayskull you have a <laughs> you have a giant eagle robot car flying plane thing that's being piloted by rowdy roddy piper and he-man it doesn't get more nuts than this doesn't get more toyetic than this this is a awesomely fun collection of toys i i'm glad i missed it in the i never collected it back then but now that i got into he-man origins now god i'm so satisfied this is so stupid but i love it so that is going to wrap it up for my early look at the brand new mattel masters of the universe he-man origins you have point dread and the talon fighter and again thank you to mattel for sending this out early for the purposes of this video. And I'm going to tell you, again, I have a bunch of He-Man Origins sitting around my desk right now. I got to get to them, and they're coming soon. They're kind of a mishigash of the last couple waves. I was kind of waiting till I got a full wave to actually talk about it. I finally have a full wave. I think it's 10 or 11, something like that. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be getting to that soon enough. But... As always, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this new Point Dread and the Talon Fighter. Is it for you? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything He-Man Origins. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned for all you Masterverse fans out there. I might have a little something to show off later on. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.